Namaste, good afternoon. Thank you, everyone. Uh, my name is Parag. I represent uh, Jain Center of Northern California. Uh, I would uh, talk briefly about uh, cows, culture, and you know, projects we are working on. <clears throat> I'll start with uh, a mantra chant. Uh, Omkar Bindu Sayuktam Nityam Dhyayanti Yoginam Kamadam Mokshadam Cheva Omkarai Namo Nama Moksha Margasha Netaram Betaram Karma Bhubatam Gyataram Vishwatatvanam Vande Tadaguna Labde So uh, there is uh, a big theory in Jainism on Lesha and that correlates with, uh, you know, uh, cow's protection and culture. Um, so we'll, I would like to, um, you know, bring that story that will connect us very well. Hopefully we will have a slide uh, up uh, in, a, in a few minutes. Um, so um, Jain community, they were looking for kind milk. Uh, many of them could not become vegan and tried to find slaughter-free farm. And only farm we found is Iskon Gitanagri in Pennsylvania. Um, so that was so thrilling. Um, we <clears throat> all are getting, you know, some milk um, for making yogurt and ghee. And many people, you know, are so privileged to, you know, admire uh, what ISKCON has provided us. Um, so there is a story of six friends. They were visiting um, a forest area. You know, they were in a long trip and one a day they were lost in the forest and um, they all became hungry after some time and said, okay, let's, let's have some fruits. There were a lot of fruit trees. So they found a big, huge mango tree and first friend, you know, his Lesha was Krishna Lesha, his state of mind was, um, was not so pure, not that compassionate. And he said, okay, let's cut this tree from root and, and get all the mangoes. Second friend was a bit more compassionate. He said, okay, let's cut the big branches and get the mangoes and, you know, we, we eat those. Third friend said, we'll just um, cut small, small branches and get enough mangoes. Fourth friend is saying, we'll pick all the min mangoes, we'll climb up and pick uh, mangoes. Uh, fifth friend said, no need to pick all the mangoes, we'll pick whatever we need, you know, to please our hunger. And fifth friend is saying, oh, there are plenty of mangoes on the ground, no need to pick any of those. So, you see, the state of mind is so different across these six lesha. We call it Krishna Nil Kapot Padma Tejo Shukla Lesha. So cutting the tree is more like killing the cows. You know, that state of mind. And cutting the big branches is, is similar to, you know, dehorning or uh, castrating the bulls, you know. And cutting small branches could be like branding the cows. You know, in the commercial dairies, they brand the cows. They put whole hot iron roads and put the numbers on them. Um, so the, the Shukla Lesha person who took the mangoes from the ground, it's more like, you know, getting the milk after it has been fed to the cow babies and get only the the extra amount of uh, milk. So uh, we, you know, all need to develop that state of mind that, you know, we do not want to slaughter or dehorn or brand, um, castrate cows, you know. Um, and 
Yeah, you can stay on the first slide. So here, um, yeah, so this story is about, you know, uh, Jiu Daya, uh, the state of mind we should have, um, should be towards Shuklalesha. You see the person in white. Uh, he, his uh, state of mind is so pure. So he is not killing the cows, not dehorning, branding, etc. <clears throat> that, uh, reminds me a story of Gandhiji. You know, Gandhiji was in a jail during Satyagraha. Um, one African person was harassing him so much, somehow he had some aversion, so whenever he sees Gandhi, he was throwing some uh, kachra, you know, trash, or, or just scream, yell around him. And Gandhiji was just observing, he was not reacting. And one day he didn't see him, um, he asked uh, the prisoners and jailers, where is uh, that person? They said, oh, he got m more punishment and he's moved to some other location. Um, so Gandhiji was concerned and he went and, you know, try, uh, found that, oh, he was very sick, he had a lot of fever. And he spent whole night putting, you know, some of uh, uh, the cold uh, patties and t took care of his fever. So you see the compassion he had, um, although that, that uh, prisoner was harassing him too much, that didn't bother him at all. He had full of compassion. And protecting the cows, saving the cows, is you know, in, in line with those, those things. Um, when we have love, towards the living being. For example, in our family, our parents, sister, brother, friends, we love them, so we never hurt them. And when we live, all the living beings, we would never hurt them. <clears throat> so best example of love is between cow and the baby cow. The mother cow would never think of hurting the baby cow because so much compassion and love the mother cow has. <clears throat> this, in Jainism, there are Tirthankaras, like Mahavir is the last Tirthankara. He had so much compassion that whoever is around in you know, a uh, approx five kilometer area, um, they do not have aversion towards, towards each other, such as lion and cows. They are drinking water together. They, they become so friendly. So when we have that much compassion within us, then the environment becomes you know, so pristine, so pure, that you know, other living beings also, you know, benefit from that. Um, JCNC, you know, Jain Center uh, would love to, um, you know, participate in Goshala projects that ISKCON is leading for. And, um, you know, there is a small story everybody would know that, you know, a guru asked the shishya, hey, this this small stick, break it, so she was able to break it. He gave two of them together, then he was able to break it, but it was very difficult to break. And then he gave four of them together, he was not able to break it. In, in, with that story, we can see that, you know, Jains, uh, you know, Hindus, actually Hindus, Jains, Sikh, Parsi, all of us, if we work on this project together, we can definitely save a lot of cows and, you know, <clears throat> make, a, make uh, the tradition we used to have. So um, I, would, I would love to, you know, um, participate and collaborate um, and represent uh, Jain Center of Northern California and work with ISCON team. Thank you so much.